Hello. So last week I spoke with you about how to manifest and I shared with you one of the best manifestation techniques I have ever known. So today I want to go further into talking about manifesting, but I want to focus specifically on how to manifest financial abundance. So stick around. You're really going to want to hear this. So with financial abundance and trying to create financial abundance, it's actually less about the manifesting part and more about focusing on what is preventing the manifesting. And this is all our beliefs and stories and fears that we tell ourselves about money that prevents that flow of abundance from coming to us. You see, the process of manifesting anything is exactly the same. There is no difference from manifesting one thing to manifesting another thing. So that's not a problem at all. The big difference, though, is that we have a lot of hang-ups about money and a lot of beliefs and a lot of stories that we tell ourselves that make it so that we are afraid to create abundance or we don't believe that we can or we don't believe that we deserve it. You know, all those different stories that we tell ourselves or that we've passed down through generation after generation, or maybe that society has told us these beliefs or stories. And so we think these things are true and we allow these stories to limit our abilities to create financial abundance. If we do not look at each of these issues, each of these fears, each of these beliefs, and each of these stories, then we will not be able to manifest that financial abundance that we want. So then what do we do? (laughs) How do we create that financial abundance that we are so wanting? Well, We want to start looking at those beliefs and stories and fears that we are telling ourselves that are limiting us and causing us to pinch off that that financial abundance that we're wanting. So what are some of these beliefs anyway so that we can begin to recognize them? Well, You've heard things like "Mm, money doesn't grow on trees or you have to work really hard to make money. You have to be a hard worker to make any money at all. You know, things like that. Or maybe you're not a good person if you desire to make money. That's another good one. As if good people can't make money. (laughs) So whatever these beliefs are, you're going to want to look at each of them and you're going to want to examine them and see the validity of them or not. You really want to break them down and understand where that belief came from and does it really hold true? So let's take a look at one of them. Now, do you really always have to work hard to make money? No. I mean, yeah, sure, you do want to work hard to make money, and that is a good thing to do in general because, yeah, it does take effort. But do you always have to work hard to make money? No, sometimes it just shows up, right? Sometimes you just end up having an opportunity for more money or a check comes in the mail or, you know, some unsuspecting thing that you just didn't know was going to happen, created abundance for you. So there are possibilities that this could happen. And that's all you're trying to create is that opening, that break in that belief to allow the possibility that that belief might not be true and that it might be true that money could magically appear or things could magically change, that it is possible. And that's what you're doing. You're trying to break into that belief and change that belief so that you can see the possibility of something different. 
Or how about the belief that you can't be a good person and like money and want money? Well, wait a minute. There are a lot of good people out there who have a lot of money and they love sharing that money and doing good things for people in the environment. You could easily be one of those people too and create and have abundance. I also want you to open up to the idea or the possibility that money could come to you easily. I mean, isn't that possible? It is possible that money could just flow to you because you can look around. Some people, it flows very easily to them. Why does it flow easily to them and maybe less easy to you? So can't you open up to the possibility that maybe money can flow easily to you too, right? And I've seen that before. You know, if you are in the flow and living with your purpose and things just sort of like fall into place and money just starts coming to you because you're in the flow, right? So that is a possibility too. By getting into the flow, you can then begin to create that financial abundance, right? So there are many different ways that this abundance can come to you. And what you want to do is open yourself to the possibility of the various ways that it might be coming to you and open yourself up to the possibility that it could be easy and that it could just flow easily to you. And if you can see that, if you can visualize the possibility that this money can flow easily to you, then you are opening up and creating that possibility. Isn't that cool? So spend some time really looking at the beliefs that you have about money and maybe write in your journal, what are some of the beliefs that you have from your family or from society or your own personal fears or concerns or your worthiness, your sense of worthiness? Do you believe that you deserve to be financially abundant because if you don't believe that you deserve to be financially abundant, then you are going to counter against your ability to manifest financial abundance. So you want to begin to see yourself as financially abundant abundant, okay? And this does go into the manifestation part of it in the ability to visualize that possibility. Because if you can't even visualize the possibility of being financially abundant, then you can't create it. So start working on that image of yourself being financially abundant. What does it look like to you to be financially abundant? What kind of life is that for you? And what does that mean? And if you can actually visualize it with all of your senses and really feel and experience it, then you can create it along with the ability of breaking through those beliefs that might be bringing doubt into it, okay? Does that make sense? Am I helping you to understand this? So once you start working through those beliefs and concerns and doubts and stories and you start changing them, then go back to my other video on manifesting and use that technique because it is brilliant. It is the best manifestation technique that I know. And I'll put the link up here so you can watch that. And between the two of those things, you can manifest financial abundance. You absolutely can. So I hope that this makes sense to you and I hope that you understand now what you need to do to create financial abundance and that it's less about the manifestation part and more about focusing on the things that are limiting your ability to create that financial abundance. So by focusing on working on breaking through your beliefs and stories that are limiting you, you can then begin to create that financial abundance. If you have any questions, please put them down below. And I do hope that you have questions. I would love to answer them. So put them down here. 
and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.